Hi, so I'm going to go through the capabilities available in the data grid with Blue Sky Statistics. Let's go over to the application and here you see I have four data sets open. Uh, with every data set that you have open, we have the data view and we have the variables view. The data view shows you your data and allows you to scroll through the data and gives you other rich capabilities that I'll go over in a bit. And the variable view gives you information about the variables and has several other capabilities that I will go through uh, in, a, in, a, in the next uh, minute. So when you're on the data grid, uh, you can obviously change the value of uh, any uh, data point uh, in the data grid. Uh, I have country Angola, I'm going to go and change it to Algeria. I can go and change the value of life expect, expect, expectancy if I want. I can, uh, in, in the same way, I can uh, right click on any row and I can delete that row. And you will see the data will go away. Uh, then I can right click uh, on any row and insert a new data row as well. And as soon as I've inserted uh, new data, it inserts a blank row. I can choose the uh, values I want to uh, insert. Uh, let's say I choose Spain. I select an appropriate uh, continent for Spain. And I can go ahead and uh, save that uh, data set if I uh, want by clicking File Save. Now, uh, I also have the ability to find, uh, let's say I want to find a data point with the country Sweden. I just type in Sweden and I can find uh, data points in my data set with the value Sweden. I also have the ability to sort in the data grid by just clicking on the column name, it sorts in ascending order. If I click uh, on another column name, it sorts that column name in ascending order. If I click again, it sorts it in descending order as well. So clicking once sorts ascending, clicking the same column twice sorts uh, descending. Obviously, if I want to do a more complicated sort, I can do that. Uh, I can click, uh, bring up the sort dialog as you saw, and I sort by year ascending, and I can sort by uh, life expectancy descending and I can add more columns uh, to that as well. So with that now let's go into the variable grid and let's see what we can do. Uh, obviously I can right click and add a level to uh, an existing factor. Country is a factor. I can add a, a level. I can see all the levels here associated with the uh, with the uh, 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 country and I can add new levels here or I can go ahead and just right click here and add a factor level and uh, I'm going to call this new country and I can add a level and here you see uh, the, the level is available to me. I can also go ahead and change the labels associated with the factor so in this case, I can change Africa to Africa 1. And uh, as soon as I do that, I can go back into my uh, data view. And uh, if I look for Africa, all the Africa should have been changed to uh, Africa 1. Uh, easy way for me to do that is to just go ahead and uh, find And there you see uh, all the Africas that I had in my data set have been changed to Africa 1. So it's very, very easy to manipulate uh, your data. In the same way, I can come here. I see year. Year is a character. If I want to make it a numeric, uh, just to show you quickly, uh, year being a character will allow me to do something like WW. Uh, and uh, it would save if I want to change this and prevent and only allow numerics to be stored, I can easily do that and I would come in here and just say uh, make uh, numeric and uh, when I go back into year I will not be able to type in WW or when I do that it'll tell me I've entered a non-numeric value uh, and, I, and it will give me the option to convert this to a column type and I will say no and then it will retain its uh, value. Uh, so again if I wanted to create a or I wanted to make it a string I could convert it back from numeric to string uh, very simply without uh, writing any code. Uh, I can also insert a, a new factor variable 
and let me go ahead and insert a new factor variable it gives it a default name of new var I can go in and add levels to it I can call let's say the levels that I want this new variable to take are city state and country so these are multiple levels that are valid for a new var and I can click OK and you can see it's taken these levels so a lot of rich capabilities available uh, here in uh, the data grid I can also uh, look for a variable name in the in this case I see all my variables on the screen but if you've got multiple variables uh, you would uh, want to search for a variable and here you see here is highlighted for me so with that uh, I've shown you several of the rich capabilities available in the uh, data grid. Uh, I'd like to thank you for your time and don't hesitate to reach out to us with any questions. Uh, the email is support at blueskystatistics.com.